Hello, and welcome. On behalf of Group 1, I would like to present the best suited entry mode to the Swedish market for Korsberg på Bakken. But first, let's have a look at why Sweden is the best market to enter. We have conducted a market screening and applied the following models and theories to the Swedish market. The Uppsala model, Gerd Hofstadt's cultural dimensions theory, and the cluster map. Let's look at our most important findings from these models. Starting with the Uppsala model, we established that Cosmic Wabagen is a high-risk concept to export. Because of this, the model advises that we choose a market that is geographically or culturally close to the home market. In this instance, it is safe to say that Sweden fits into both of these categories. In relation to Gerd Hofstadt's theory, as you can see next to me, Sweden is very similar to Denmark in all aspects. Therefore, the cultural differences between the two markets are minuscule and little readjusting of the concept is required. Furthermore, looking at the cluster map, we see that Sweden and Denmark are in the same cluster. This means that it is possible to use a similar marketing mix on the Swedish market as is used on the Danish market. When we looked at the empirical data, we discovered that Korsbeck Popagen originates from the TV series Matador, which in Sweden was highly popular and won often Blodet's TV award for best foreign TV series when the show was aired. Korsbeck Popagen is a part of the attraction industry, which in Sweden is highly competitive. This creates an innovative environment which forces all parties to be innovative and ingenious. The industry has over the recent years grown steadily, although we are aware that it can change from season to season. To summarize, we are confident that Sweden is the best market to enter because of the small psychic distance between Denmark and Sweden. Another advantage of going into the Swedish market is their familiarity with Matador. Finally, the high level of competition within the attraction industry means that there are a large number of potential partners for Korsberg på Bagen to team up with in the Swedish market. Now, let's look at the key factors affecting Korsberg på Bagen's entry mode to the Swedish market. To do this, we have utilized the 9.1 model as you can see next to me. After rating and weighing all these factors, we concluded that Korsbeck Popagen fits best in the category of intermediate entry modes because they scored zero in the 9.1 model. We found that these factors are the most important for Korsbeck Popagen when deciding their entry mode. Social cultural distance, growth and market size, international experience and tacit knowledge. Let us start by assessing the social-cultural distance between Denmark and Sweden. It is relevant to consider the psychic distance when choosing an entry mode. For example, if the foreign market is culturally far away from the domestic market, there is a higher tendency to disregard hierarchical entry modes. As already established, there is limited psychic distance between Denmark and Sweden. However, because of Korsberg på Bagen's immaturity in their home market, seeking a partner through an intermediate entry mode into the Swedish market is safer than choosing a hierarchical entry mode. Next, we will look at the growth and market size of Sweden. We already established that we are looking for an entry mode within the intermediate category, which means that we have to find a partner. To either franchise or license to, partner up with in a joint venture, or to make a manufacturing contract with, we can already exclude contract manufacturing. Since we don't manufacture a physical product as we are within the experience attraction industry. According to a report from 2014 by Euromonitor International, amusement parks are expected to drive the growth of the attraction industry in the Swedish market. With an increase of 9% over the forecast period of the next five years. The rise in consumer confidence shows us that the Swedish consumers are willing to spend their money rather than saving it. 
the Swedish market is larger than the Danish market. Because Korsbeck på Bakken is highly immature in the Danish market, it would be an advantage to team up with a domestic partner in the Swedish market. This leads us to the next parameter, which is international experience. Korsbeck på Bakken is an immature player in the Danish market and has no international experience, and therefore requires market knowledge from a Swedish domestic partner. Due to this, Market knowledge and assistance from a Swedish domestic partner is required in order to survive for at least 10 years in the Swedish market. When looking into the tacit knowledge of Korsbeck Babagen, we conclude that there are some barriers as the concept is difficult to articulate in words. This makes the concept difficult to license or franchise out. It makes more sense for Korsbeck for Bargain to be involved in the daily operations so they can maintain the control and ensure that the concept stays authentic. If they are not a part of the daily operations, their brand may be diluted and the authenticity of the experience may decrease. Looking at the most important factors such as export preparedness, competitive strengths, market attractiveness and social cultural distances. We recommend that Korsbeck Bobagen use an ex-coalition joint venture entry mode to achieve a 10-year survival in the Swedish market and keep the authenticity of their concept. The overall benefits from choosing an ex-coalition joint venture are shared finances, shared risk, and the combining of complementary skills from both partners. Let's look at some of the advantages and disadvantages when entering a joint venture starting with advantages. A joint venture speeds up the implementation process as Korsbeck Bobagen can rely on the partner's knowledge and expertise in the Swedish market and avoid the hassle of gaining this expertise themselves. A joint venture also reduces the costs and risks normally taken on by the exporting company, in our case Korsbeck for Bargen, since they are two companies creating a joint company. Costs, risks and profits will be shared. This constellation is also called equity joint venture. As a result of entering the Swedish market through an ex-coalition joint venture, Korsbeck for Bargen and its partner can achieve synergy by combining their different competences, resources and expertise knowledge and complementing each other's deficiencies. When looking at the disadvantages of a joint venture, the biggest challenges are communication, coordination and alignment of goals and expectations between the two companies. There could easily arise conflicts of interest and differences in the two companies' objectives for the joint venture and how the profits generated should be spent. Furthermore, the sharing of risks, costs and profits should be appropriate to or reflect the number of competences and resources each partner brings to the venture. There is a risk that Korsbeck Bobagen's Swedish partner can become a future competitor. And in case of the solvement of the joint venture, it is imperative to have an exit strategy between Korsbeck Bobagen and their partner. When looking at Korsbeck Bobagen's business model in their domestic market, together with the steady growth of the Swedish amusement parks, we believe that the ideal solution for entering the Swedish market is to form an ex-coalition joint venture with the Swedish amusement park. After we screened the largest Swedish amusement parks, we found Lise Bär to be the most suitable candidate for the joint venture partnership. Because of its location in a densely populated area of Sweden, them being the largest amusement park in Sweden and having a visitor turnover of 2.8 million in 2012. These facts make Lisa Bär the market leader in the Swedish attraction industry. In order to establish Korsbeck Bobagen abroad, we received two loan offers, an annuity and a serial loan. 
we assessed advantages and disadvantages as shown in the memo. Now we will look at some other factors to keep in mind when assessing the two offers. In regards to the specific loans, we assumed a discount rate of 20% and found that the annuity loan scored a higher NPV than the serial loan, meaning it is a better investment. Additionally, neither of the loan offers stated whether they contained fixed or variable interest. However, in our calculations, we assumed they came with a fixed interest rate. Variable interest while initially offering a lower interest rate would bring a much greater risk as it could suddenly change and lead to huge unforeseen costs. Possible currency fluctuations should also be taken into account, but will not be much of a problem in this case as the Swedish kroner is closely tied to the euro. In regards to the security for the loan, Tobin has substantial personal assets. The buildings and restaurants in the new park will also constitute assets which could be put up as security. Any partner included in this venture has to have strong finances as they will likely need to put up a substantial amount of collateral to secure the loan. Finally, the loan of choice should have certain flexibility built in as this industry often has dry periods with little or no income to cover payments. These findings support our decision to recommend the annuity loan for Korsbeck for Bakken. Thank you very much for watching our presentation.